Welcome back to Flushing It Out. We are continuing our search for those hidden gems in the Northern Virginia area so you can get out and have a safe, social distance getaway. Today, um, we are at Artera Wines. I'm Samantha Spittle, and I'm here with the owners, Sandy and Jason Murray. Welcome. Thank you. Hello. Thank you guys so much for having us, not only to your beautiful winery, but also home to your artwork, Hawk Moth Art. So I'm excited for you guys to show us around and to hear more about what makes you guys such a great hidden gem here in Delaplane, Virginia. Well, thank you guys for being here. What I love about Fauquier County is there's over 20 wineries and each one has its own unique little stamp. And so if you are looking to get away, you definitely wanna check out all of them. But if you're an art lover or someone who really enjoys nature, I think this is definitely the place you wanna go. So Jason, if you can tell us, what makes this place so unique? What's really interesting is our approach and philosophy to winemaking is different. We produce what we call a clean wine, so they're all native yeast fermentations a minimalist overall process and what this is meant to do is not only produce a healthier but we think higher quality wine but really is a process that captures the style and character of wine in this region because we're trying to taste only characteristics that came from the grape as it grows in this climate as opposed to doing anything to replicate any other wines from around the world. That's exciting especially um in a, a time where you know people get grapes from all over and whatnot it seems you're really getting the virginia experience here when you're having your wine yes that is absolutely true so we're what we think of as a true terroir winery and hence the name our terra is the art of the land because it's a true expression of the site since the yeast and the fruit both originate uh, from the vineyards here in northern Fauquier County in Virginia. So it's a Virginia style wine and it's an artistic expression of that land because the process is much more based on perception and intuition as opposed to analytics and lab type work. That's great. And I'm glad we can leave that up to the experts and not we just get to drink it and enjoy <laughs> it. So Great. Well, let's check out the art studio because that's something that I think definitely no other winery that I know of has. So let's check out Sandy's art studio. Sandy, what I love is not only is your beautiful artwork for sale in the tasting room, but you're actually working on site here. And so um, I know you mentioned having classes for people. So how does that work if someone actually wants to get their hands dirty and experience your beautiful work? So all someone would have to do is reach out and contact me and we set up a time when you can come into the studio and work with me to create either a base, a tray or a bowl. But what makes my work unique is that I'm actually using nature to create the work, specifically the vineyard. So when we create, either myself or with a class situation, we actually go out to the vineyard and pick leaves. Um, these happen to be petit verdot leaves that I pressed into the clay yesterday, so the leaf is still very raw on the form. These are still drying. Uh, petit verdot is one of our signature varietals, so I love using it in the work. Um, and I make a variety of bowls, trays, whatever kind of feels inspirational to me at the time. And again, when the piece is complete, it heads out to the gallery for display. So Sandy, this is one of your finished pieces. So tell me about, you know, kind of how it went from what we saw mm -hmm. in the studio to what we see here now. Yeah, so this was an exciting piece for me because I incorporated a new technique. So what you're seeing on the rim is actually pressed from a mold that I made of the canes of the vine. So it's replicating the cane from actually using the cane. And I love how it incorporates very organically into the piece. These are all Cabernet Sauvignon leaves that I've pressed, that I picked from the vineyard, pressed into clay and formed into the bowl shape. And I picked up a few cluster shapes in here as well. So this is a finished piece, and this is what it looks like in the gallery. I also use barrels in my work. So this piece here is a piece of a red wine barrel, and the color comes from the wine that was in the barrel, and then I've um, added leaves, also tendrils from the vines. These are hand-drawn ceramic pieces. So I definitely incorporate many aspects of the winemaking process in my work. Um, and I work from nature at large. So some of these bigger leaves have come from the forest surrounding the vineyard. This is a burdock leaf that I've pressed, single leaf 
Um, I get really excited about the larger leaves because they're more challenging for me artistically. And of course, when they're finished, they're one of a kind and, and kind of beautiful. So I use a lot of different nature in the work, um, pieces of the vineyard. I also draw into clay. So this is more of my winter style work. These are hand drawn on ceramic um, using a ceramic pencil. So I use a variety of materials and I enjoy every one. As you can see from the gorgeous tasting room, the art studio, if you're an art lover, you're definitely going to be blown away by this place. Everything from um, your, your unique art to the architecture, it's just, it's beauty from the moment you drive up the driveway. So um, I know we have this beautiful space inside, but outside, I would say right now is even better with the vineyards and the tables. So how are you guys working your, your winery to keep people safe that do want to get out um, to enjoy your space? So we are just adapting to whatever is appropriate at the time. Right now we have significantly fewer tables inside the building spread out. Same thing outside as the tables have all been spread out, everybody has their own space and right now we're providing full table service. So you come in, you're greeted, you are uh, seated at your own table, you don't have to get up and interact with anyone, you can just enjoy your space. Uh, when we are at outdoor tables, we provide a tablecloth for every new customer. Whether we are inside or outside, tables and chairs and everything all gets sanitized as is appropriate. And we do look forward to the day and time in the future when it's appropriate that we can go back to using the bars and we'll just see when we get there. What I love about your place is it definitely qualifies, in my opinion, as a hidden gem, is because you feel like even though it's very spacious and safe, it feels cozy and just the scenery is beautiful. So if you're out here, you get to sit outside, but you want to enjoy a full wine tasting, how would that work here? Well, let me show you one of the tables that we have set up here. Great. When the customers come in, we present to them our full menu and philosophy. It has on it our winemaking that we were talking about and then has the full list of our wines and they are welcome to select a glass or a bottle or we are offering full flights at the table. This is definitely a place where if you're in the Northern Virginia area that you could definitely make a day trip of it. You enjoy a scenic, beautiful drive out. You get to spend time here. So if someone does come out here to Delaplane, Virginia, what's another couple activities that they could do while they're in the area? We have right uh, next door, nearly next door, Sky Meadow State Park. It's a great opportunity with a range of different hiking and exploring opportunities. Some up and on the mountains, some gently through the meadows. Really pleasant for all different types of people. There is, as I think you've talked about before, quite a number of antique shops, if that's something that you're into. We do have local dining right in Upperville and Marshall and right here in what's actually called Paris, Virginia. Uh, so there's plenty to do in terms of filling a day with exploring the region, getting your meal, getting outside, fresh air, lots of space, really good to just, you know, take a deep breath of fresh air. That's great. I love how you put it, take a deep breath of fresh air out here in Delaplane, Virginia. So thank you so much, Sandy and Jason, for having us. We appreciate showing, um, for taking us into what feels like your home, your personal space, and I'm excited for everyone to be able to Head out here to Artero Wines and enjoy a breath of fresh air. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. This has been a wonderful opportunity for us. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you.